Season 4 of Mayans MC has significantly advanced the FX series with major changes to the titular club's makeup. While Angel Reyes has been on an upward trajectory, Easy Reyes has been on a downward spiral, which culminates in a shocking Season 4 finale. Here's a rundown of what happened in Mayans MC Season 4, Episode 10, when the breakdown hit at midnight, with spoilers. In this episode, the Santo Padre Mayans bury Coco, who was killed by the Sons of Anarchy earlier in the season. Angel, on the other hand, maintains his distance, most likely because he is still humiliated of sleeping with Coco's daughter, Letty, after his death. Letty finally lashes out at the Mayans, claiming that they didn't deserve Coco and that she will never forgive them for what occurred. Angel returns home to Adelita and baby Maverick after the funeral. Adelita inquires about the burial, which Angel admits was a disaster. Angel is ecstatic about his son, and the entire family embraces. After Santo Padre nearly killed a Sons of Anarchy member in its raid on UC Davis, the episode switches to Tig Trager visiting Terry in the hospital. Tig chastises Terry for beginning the Mayan conflict and reveals that the latter's sponsor has returned. Tig starts choking Terry, but when a nurse intervenes, he stops. JJ and Easy meet somewhere else. In exchange for helping him tie up a loose end, Easy gives him $80,000. Easy then pulls out a revolver and declares JJ to be the loose end. He informs JJ that if he shoots himself, he will receive $80,000 for his family. They'll gain nothing if Easy shoots him. JJ tries to persuade Easy by telling him that he rescued him from prison and that he has a family. The Mayan claims that the devastation Easy is causing will weigh on his soul. JJ then places the gun under his chin, but decides not to shoot. He then points the gun at Easy, who shoots him dead. As it is between Santo Padre and Charming, Alvarez and Tig finally meet in Los Angeles. Tig tells Alvarez that the war began when Alessandro Montes's cut and body were discovered on Santo Padre territory. Alvarez claims he has no knowledge of the matter, but it's apparent he'll look into it further. The talk then shifts to the topic of war, with Alvarez and Tig proving to be polar opposites. The former seems weary of fight and death, while the latter is ecstatic at the prospect. We also find that Terry's sponsor is the younger brother of San Bernardino Sons of Anarchy leader Les Packer. With a hug, the two part ways, knowing that the next time they meet, it might not be so pleasant. The numerous non-Santo Padre Mayan groups meet at a restaurant. They suspect Conche was murdered by the Reyes brothers. Before they can decide on a course of action, the Sons of Anarchy invade, kidnapping the Mayans. Later, it's revealed that Terry's sponsor and a member of the Sons of Anarchy is Isaac, the antagonist of Coco's Meth Mountain scheme last season. After being shot in the throat by Coco at the end of last season, Isaac was considered dead. Manny is killed by Isaac, but another Mayan is spared, allowing him to serve as a messenger for the approaching fire. Manny isn't the only one who meets an untimely end. Cody meets with her former lover after explaining to Creeper that she is a police and that she can protect him. She claims, however, that they have enough information to bring down both Creeper and the Santo Padre Club. She also mentions that someone from the Santo Padre Club worked with the cops at one point, but she isn't sure who it was. Nonetheless, Cody believes that if Creeper cooperates, they could be able to maintain a relationship in the future. Creeper later meets with the cops. Rather than selling out the club, he admits to the group's misdeeds, citing the fatalities under investigation by the authorities and saying he carried them out without Santo Padre's knowledge or cooperation. Creeper will almost definitely spend the rest of his life in prison. However, not everything is as bad as it seems. Letty gets her late father's car after Louis gives her a speech about Coco's love for her. She then goes and gets Hope off the street, stopping her just before she shoots up again. Easy and Alvarez converse outside the Santo Padre clubhouse regarding the latter's meeting with Tig. The latter is still opposed to war and reaching an agreement with Miguel Galindo and Solidad. The former, on the other hand, believes it is the only way to keep the club alive. Easy is so convinced that he goes and recruits Bishop to his side for a move against Alvarez. Adelita makes the deal even better by killing El Banquero in his pool. She then approaches Solidad. As they gaze out over the landscape, Solidad declares that the future is here. Miguel dials Emily Galindo's number from Aaron's smartphone. Miguel expresses his forgiveness and invites her to return home. He also adds that he has reclaimed his son, Cristobal. Emily sobs and yells in tears after the chat. In this episode, Miguel doesn't stop there. 
The Galindo cartel boss confronts Felipe Reyes in his butcher shop, seeking vengeance for Dita Galindo's murder. Miguel boasts that he'll make sure the Reyes brothers know what it's like to be an orphan and that they'll die soon as well. Felipe, on the other hand, pleads with Miguel to spare his children, admitting that he is Miguel's father. In another scene, Easy and Sofia are riding his motorcycle when a car full of sons of anarchy attacks them. Easy gets the best of them, but Sofia throws up afterwards. Later, at the temple, the Santo Padre Mayans state that they still want revenge, while Alvarez wants peace, claiming that the Sons of Anarchy had agreed to a ceasefire. The attack against Isaac is described as the work of a rogue group. Bez will not accept anything less than capitulation and immediately activates the kill switch, which allows a charter to remove a president by unanimous vote. Despite Angel's apparent hesitation, the club votes to remove Alvarez, opting for war over peace. The Mayan godfather dashes out, enraged by their decision. Later, at home, he leaves his cut on his motorcycle and closes the garage door behind it. In Alvarez's absence, Easy takes over as president and appoints Bishop as his vice president, noting his experience and leadership abilities. The new president then ascends to the throne of Santo Padre and declares that his first order of business is to collaborate with Galindo and Solidad to move more heroin than ever before. They'll soon have control of California thanks to the proceeds of that venture. Angel approaches his brother thereafter, questioning his deeds and who he has become. Easy, on the other hand, encourages Angel to leave if he isn't all in, which latter Reyes interprets as a threat. Mayan's MC also uses JJ wife to demonstrate how Easy's actions affect people by having her try to visit him in his trailer. Sophia appears, claiming that Easy was with her while he was supposed to be meeting with JJ. It's obvious that JJ's death will wreck his wife's life, but Sophia doesn't seem to care. As season 4 comes to a close, Mayan's MC cuts to Easy in bed with Sophia, looking pleased with himself. However, while he is sleeping, a mysterious man sets fire to Galindo and Solidad's warehouse, destroying all of the heroin. 